All right, y'all. So Target has taken a pretty strong stance against God and against. <laughs> That's an opening statement. They hire a Satanist to design their clothing for children. Massive brands not just go woke, but go demonic. It looks like a pin that could be made for children. And it says Satan respects pronouns. Satan loves you and respects who you are. This is wow. a direct statement. Talk about from being open. The company that Target contracted. Satan, Lord of the Underworld, King of Darkness, Prince of Demons, the Bible calls him. And it's like, oh, to me, he's love and kindness. Of course, that's what he wants you to think. This is the boy section. What is happening out here? We're in the boy section. Out in the wild. This stuff is dark. It's twisted. It's demonic. It's satanic. It's happening right in front of her eyes. Kids clothing saying that the marketing of the products are good for business and it's the right thing for society. The shocking way Target is turning against Christians. I know all the ladies out there are like, no, not Target. Liquid Death, call them out, and Ford, call them out, and Bud Light, call them out, but leave my Target alone. Man, Target, what are you doing out here? They say you go woke, you go broke, and we've seen that with Ford, Bud Light, and many of these companies that are catering to the alphabet agenda, catering to Transformers and Dairy Queens. It's just crazy. I don't know what they're doing out here. So this is a video by Nick Jones. I'll link him down below. I like, I really like his stuff. I like his commentary. So we're reacting to him covering the Target story rather than reinvent the will and cover the whole story of Target. I don't really have the energy to do it. We're gonna react to Nick Jones's video and look at some of his commentary. So reaction to a reaction, it's gonna be good. Let's jump into this. All right, y'all. So Target has taken a pretty strong stance against God and against- <laughs> That's an opening statement. Target is taking a strong stance against God, and that's really what it is. Ugh, feels bad. Christianity. Now, I'm not surprised. And what I told you in my last video was and that none of us should be as surprised. we enter into June, which is Pride Month, we're going to start to see a lot of companies really show their cards and really let us know what yep. they stand for. And Target is yet another one of those companies. Now, I saw this initially on TikTok, I believe. And it said, but this is a thread from Twitter from a woman named Scarlett Johnson. Not sure who this is, but she put together a pretty interesting and uh, informative tweet. She said, why did at Target hire a Satanist to design pieces for their recent pride clothing line? Let which here's the crazy part. They hire a Satanist to design their clothing for children, which is, oh, there's so much to say here. It's so bizarre. But this is a massive company. This is not a small niche company. Everyone knows Target. Target's a multi, multi-billion dollar company. So now we're seeing massive brands not just go woke, but go demonic, get Satanists to design their clothing. There's an open satanic demonic agenda here, guys. Let's be honest with it. There's an open satanic agenda here. Again, this is not just going woke. This is not just left liberal agenda. This is a massive brand opening the door to Satan into their stores and making them look innocent. Oh man, it's so crazy. What a weird time to be alive. Even, even as I'm saying this, I'm like, what am I even saying? What is, what is Target even saying here? This is just so crazy to me, but nonetheless, it's happening right before our eyes, right under our nose. Oh, let me show you exactly who they hired. This is an individual. Um, this is well, the designer who they hired. Wearing demon horns, by the way. And this designer is associated with a brand called Aprolin. Aprolin. I don't necessarily know how to say that. Probably some but name of a demon. If you Let's go onto their website specifically, which I thought I had pulled up, but I guess I don't have pulled up. So let me go to their website right here and let me show you this. The first thing that you'll see as you go onto their website is pretty interesting. <laughs> This is literally the first thing you see as you go onto their website is this pin that looks like a pin that could be made for children. And it says Satan respects pronouns. And this is the individual that they hired to design. This is who Target wants to design their stuff. Ugh, it's gross. For their next clothing line and this is the official announcement right here from the brand itself wow. which says at Prolin times target and there's a bunch of different products that you can uh purchase now they're claiming 
they're claiming, they're claiming, they're claiming, keyword, that these products are not necessarily intended for children. But I have two daughters uh, myself. Kind of looks like it to me. I have four daughters. That kind of looks like a kid's handbag, if you ask me. If they saw this with the colors and the imagery and the rainbows, they would be very much intrigued by this. And yeah. they would actually probably go and pick this up and try to make me buy this. So to say that it's not made for children Just is ingenuous. one thing. But that doesn't mean that you're not appealing to children with the design, with the aesthetic, right? This one says cure transphobia, not trans people. Now, I want to show you, and once again, this this is the designer um, who they employ. Satan respects pronouns. Hmm. To do this or contract it. But this is the phrase that they, or not the phrase, this is the statement that the design team or the satanic design team that target um contracted this is what they put out they said one of my favorite and most popular designs and the one that gave aprolin its proper footing and direction coming up with this phrase really helped make aprolin what it is today satan loves you and respects who you are this is wow. a direct statement talk about being open the company that Target contracted, referring to the collection and the collaboration that they're doing with Target. Let me read this one more time. It says, Satan loves you and respects who you are. You're important and valuable in this world, and you deserve to treat yourself with love and respect. LGBT plus people are so often referred to as being a product of Satan or going against God's will. I mean, he's not wrong. They are going against God's will. So fine. We'll hang with Satan instead. Satanists do, don't actually believe in Satan. He is- Which just shows how confused they are. It's so weird. I have a whole video on Satanism on my channel. It's so weird. We don't believe in Satan. And it's like all about invoking demons, cauldrons, darkness, demonic, everything uh it's just so stupid merely used as a symbol of passion pride and liberty he means satan loves you and respects who you are so they talk about satan as like a person and then they go oh in the next sentence by the way we don't even believe in satan it's like so so dumb guys let me know in the comments am i the only one that's like this is so stupid satanism y'all are just a joke to you what you need him to mean so for me, Satan is hope, compassion, equality, and love. Satan, Lord of the underworld, king of darkness, prince of demons, the Bible calls him. And it's like, oh, to me, he's love and kindness. Of course, that's what he wants you to think. He's the master of deceiving and deception and lies. Of course, he wants you to think, oh, I'm just innocent. I'm no big deal. Even his ministers, the Bible says, come as angels of righteousness. So the devil's been doing this from the beginning, looking and acting innocent. Oh, no. So naturally, Satan respects pronouns. He loves all LGBT plus people. I went with this variation of Baphomet for this design, a deity who themselves is a mixture of genders, beings, ideas, and existences. They reject binary stereotypes and, and expectations. Perfect. So dark. So that's a post that they had uh, put on their on their Instagram page. Well, let me walk back that statement. I don't know if this post that I read was in reference to their collab, but this is a post that they had put on their Instagram page that that's lets their, you know literally their mission what statement. they believe in. And this is the same company that Target is using to create these products. And these are the actual products that they're putting. Okay, so this is at Target. This is not conspiracy. What is Target selling here? Out. We belong everywhere, too queer for here, and cure transphobia, not um, trans people. So these are the three products that they have put out. UFO, little alien ship. Mm, wonder what that means. Now, I want to show you this video as well. So this is, this happened actually, I believe a few weeks before Target actually made the announcement that they were going to be working with this satanic company. Um, take a listen to this video that this woman put out about the boys section that she found at Target. Ma'am, where's the boys section? 
right there. All this, this is right here. All this the is here. the boy section? Yes. Wow. Nope. Wow. That's a hard no for me. My is boy this is the not boy shopping. section too? I got four girls. I'm praying I have a boy soon. We'll see. That's a hard skip. There's no chance that my son's shopping at Target. I'm trying to dress him like a little girl. Come on now. Not yeah. today. You got to be kidding me. Wow. This is the boy section. Oh, hey, we got a boy shirt. Hold on. This is the boy section. What is happening out here? We're in the boy section. Out in the wild. This is why I don't leave Ma my house. Is this? You got to be kidding me. Is this the boy section too? That is for boys. <gasps> the worker's like, uh, I hate to have to say it that way. I'm surprised you're even allowed to say boy anymore in public. <laughs> now, if this ain't pushing an agenda, I don't know what is. Mm -hmm. This is sick. Even in the worker, I don't, did you hear the what, the, like, what the worker said? Yeah. <laughs> The woman said, if this ain't pushing an, an agenda, I don't know what is. The worker said, mm-hmm. <laughs> they know, too. Target, do better. Yes, we're at Target. <laughs> look at this. So you can look like your sister. Hmm. Wow. Isn't that something? The worker's laughing. Like, hey, now, it's interesting somebody. because Target C. Oh, guys, let's. it makes me sick to my stomach. I can't be bothered to do all this research. Thank you, Nick, for making this video. I can't be bothered. This just makes me sick. You know, you guys are like, why don't you react to Target? Why don't you react to this, 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 this? It's like, I just can't. I can't. I can't research some of this stuff. I can't be bothered. It's too nauseating. It's too much time. It's too time consuming. I, I want to react to this to bring some light and give you guys my take on this. But Nick, let's do a collab on some of this stuff, man. This is crazy. I'm definitely going to reach out and get him on the podcast. Ask him if he wants to be on the podcast as well. I don't want to sound arrogant. I'm going to get him on the podcast. But man, this stuff is dark. It's twisted. It's demonic. It's satanic. It's happening right in front of her eyes. Target's losing billions of dollars, rightfully so. This is just so crazy. CEO actually came out and defended. Oh, yeah. He doubled down, of course. The clothing line that they had recently put out because I guess people are now starting to boycott Target, much like they boycotted Bud Light, right? And it says Target C CEO defends LGBTQ friendly clothing line amid boycott calls. The right thing for society. So the, the CEO of Target, which, by the way, you can call your local Target and complain and a bunch of Targets are removing the sections because they're getting so many complaints. So, yeah, call your local Target, call the headquarters and complain. Is saying that this clothing line is actually the right thing for society. And he even went as far as to say that it's good for business. No, it it's says not. Target's top executive Dude. dismissed dismissed the social media uproar over the retailer's new line of LGBTQ friendly clothing, kids clothing, saying that the marketing of the products are good for business and it's the right thing for society. No. No. Oh, my head hurts. My brain. It doesn't under compute. What generation am I in? What is happening right now? It's not good for business. I'm not a CEO of a big company, I'll tell you. Statistics show. Go look at Target stock. It's terrible for business. What are you even out here talking about? It's terrible. When you go woke, you go broke. That's This is what we've seen over and over. Who's even buying this stuff? Who's excited about this? Who's excited about this? This is terrible. What do you even mean? You go, come on, man. You're lying. It's the right thing for society. Uh, help us, Lord. And it's good for business. Thank now, you, Nick. I'm not Let's look at the a, stock. Uh, Thank you. Big stock Pull guy. The I'm trying to get more and more into stocks, more and more into investments. But I'm not a big stock guy. I'm not a big like financial guy. But I can look at a graph and just see what's going on and if you look at the the last month over the past month keep going down target stock is down 9.31 percent you can see that arrow i bet you just down over here i'm gonna look right now and just kept going down and down and down and I'm down pull my little stock app here and see i can't imagine that this is what is good for business but according to target ceo this is what is good for business. Now, Target's down 10% this week. 
So, I mean, that's big for a stock this size and a company this size. They're down 10, 11% in the month. Yeah, their they're thing's dipping 17% in the last three months. But the graph is just straight down. I mean, you can see it here. Well, maybe you can't. You probably can't. But anyways, the graph is just straight down. Absolutely straight down. So, yeah, that's what happens. This is the page of the company that Target uh, has contracted. Leave our kids alone, and Target. Stop. It says pride and gloom. We add more genders every time you complain. Now, oh, I don't true. think these products are being sold at Target necessarily, but this is just the page of the company. Those are Target at Target. That Target is now working with. Burn down the cis Tim, C I S hyphen T E M. Upside down crosses mixed with, you know, transgenderism. Um, and this is everything that they believe in. And I, I, it's just, it's crazy to me that something like this could be seen as not being for children. Crazy. People are saying that this is not for children. It's literally in the kids section. But you're so clearly marketing it towards children. You've got like the Illuminati, open your third eye. You've got Barry Cis Feelings. So a tombstone that says Barry Cis Feelings on the bottom left with an upside down cross on it. It's very, very interesting. It's very, very interesting. It's very, very interesting. I was thinking, and I talked about this yesterday on the podcast, you know, the Bible says in Psalms, um, I think it's chapter 127, I could be wrong, but it says that children are a gift from the Lord. And in a study... I'll link this full video down below, because I don't want to make this video too long, but I'll link his full video, show him some love. Nick, if you're watching this, jump in the comments, would love to get you on the podcast, man. You got some really awesome content. This is just sad. This is a sign of the last days. We are in the last days. We're racing towards the judgment of God. We are headed on a collision course with God himself, at war with God, literally shaking our fists. Even in the tribulation, they're going to shake their fist at God. Man, this is crazy. It's such a weird time to be alive. It's so gross. It's so demonic. It's wrong. I'm glad that their voice is standing up against this stuff. I'm glad these stocks are crashing. I don't know what the answer is. I'm not really one that preaches boycott this, boycott that because then you end up just living in a bubble going nowhere because all these companies are like this, going woke and demonic. But if you feel called like, hey, I'm going to boycott Target, and then boycott Target. Do what you feel called to do. This is just absolutely gross. Leave our kids alone. It's always about the kids. It was in the Bible. It is now. Mo Pharaoh targeted Moses. Herod targeted Jesus. There's a target for kids. There's a target for young men and women to pervert them, to distort them. And it's just, man, it really does make me sick. It's sad to see. We need revival. We need the power of the Holy Spirit. We need re revival in our homes. You're the one that should be bringing prayer to your home. You're the one that should be bringing the word of God to your home. Let's push against this garbage because this is just wrong on so many levels. It's sad. Make sure you guys check out Nick Jones' channel. That's what's happening at Target. Who knows where this will lead? It looks like they're doubling down and saying, ah, we're good with this, but we really need to raise our voices on this matter, this issue. Ah, oh, it's gross. It's gross. Uh, pray about partnering with the ministry. You can monthly partner down below. All the links are there. We're live Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. And if you're still here, type amen in the comments. I want to know if you're still watching and still here. And we'll see you guys in the next video. God bless.